Hey guys, welcome to Me Paintings. I'm Veronica and today is finally the day when I can show you my little art studio. And because of the current situation in the whole world, I've got more time and I can create this video for you and finally show you my little place. I started to paint in the kitchen, but that didn't work for me at all. And we don't have any garage or any free space, so I decided I'm gonna steal a little space in our living room and I tried to squeeze everything in and create a beautiful little cozy place where I can create and which will be inspirational for you so welcome to my art studio and the first piece of furniture which I want to show you is this table this is from IKEA and it's actually the first piece of furniture which I bought when we moved to our little flat in Brno and this is amazing piece of furniture it's my favorite you know why it's because uh, I can hide my mess under there. Look at that. And I've got all of my hidden treasures under there. I make bracelets at the day and then I can just close this and I can paint at night, which is great. And I need to hide my mess because my children sometimes they they are everywhere and they it just mess everything up so it's great when I can hide my mess here are my favorite gemstones I also make me beads and I love gemstones I love their energy this is my favorite gemstone it's called Labradorite and it has got very positive energy and then I also have got this um, amethyst here I suffered terrible headaches and amethyst is good for headaches so that's why I keep this in my space and this one this is a piece of wood which I cut because we had this old plum tree in my garden in granny's garden and um, this was an old tree which my grandfather planted 70 years ago and we had to cut it because it was too old and uh, branches fall out of it so i decided i'm gonna take this little piece and i created this hole in there i also have got my little display inspirational display here i put uh, like uh, loads of inspirational photos uh, if I want to create something then I look at it and yeah I've got my inspiration here this one this is my favorite color wheel I use this a lot because um, I sometimes use like three three colors two colors like if you know the color wheel um, you know how that works you can choose opposite colors or three four colors which match well I like to use this a lot and here, here I've got my willow branches. Our neighbor, she had to cut her old willow tree. So I decided I'm gonna create this little decoration out of these willow branches. And I love to bring a little piece of nature into my art space. Now here I've got my little candle, which I love this. It says, have a dream. I think everybody should have a dream. Speaking about candles, I've got lots of candles here. Um, I've got my favorite candles. I love to lit these candles. This is from H&M, I think, and it smells so lovely. Here's my, this is quite precious. I bought this candle in Dubai. We went there last year and it's just a reminder of amazing time with my hobby it was amazing city absolutely extraordinary city dubai have you visited dubai um here i got my little cute bird which i got from my mom so i can look at him every day and think about my mom and then i got this beautiful white candle which is fresh grapefruit and oh i wish you could smell this it's such a lovely smell it's from the white company they've got some lovely white candles and furniture and clothes they make lovely stuff here's my favorite favorite pour which i've done because it, it reminds me of beautiful landscape and i love nature i love going outside i love looking at just blue sky and sunset and this is actually one of my first pours but I still love it I love how it turned out 
And here you can see this beautiful wooden frame. We had this old piece of wood and my hubby, he decided to make a hole in it. And then I put a photo of my son in there and it created a beautiful wooden frame. And here I've got my speaker from Bosse. It's great because I can take it everywhere. Everywhere My kids actually love this because we play music all the time. My, my little son, he loves Michael Jackson. So he plays Michael Jackson every time <laughs> we do something. I, I don't like Michael Jackson anymore because I've heard it like millions of times. But I've used it a lot when I paint. I love to play some relaxing music. So this is great because I can connect this to my phone and play any kind of music which I love. This is my chair from, I don't know, I don't remember where I got this from, but it's quite comfy for my painting. And here, because I don't really have too much to, uh, too much space, I try to squeeze, I try to use every little piece of space and I try to squeeze everything in. So under my table, there's some storage too. I've got, um, I've got my acrylic colors here. I got my pouches from Arteza. These are great because I can store them quite well and I love these colors. And then I've got some leftover colors here, like this is a mess, but yeah, I put everything what I don't need there. Um, yep, these boxes are quite good, quite nice. And I also store my canvases under my table. So here we come, here's my cabinet. This one is from Mavelix and I love this so much because I can store all of my colors there and then I can hide my de my mess in here. This is a really messy place, I know, but I like this because I can hide the mess and then show my lovely colors there. But let's what let's see what's in there. I've got my yeah, more acrylic colors in there and I also have got this palette knives palette knives which I use for my abstract art and then I've got some cups in there pouring mediums um, loads of stuff and also these pencils let's see this I love these this is a paradise Ooh. and these are from Faber Castle my kids they want to borrow them all the time but I'm a bad mom, I don't want to borrow and uh, lend them these pencils because they are my favorites. Uh, when I have good time, I just look at them and I just seek for inspiration in there. Some amazing artists there. This one, this one is actually my favorite. This one is called Big Artists. This is actually in Czech language, but I'm sure you can buy similar books in different languages. And there are so many useful informations about famous artists. So every time I have got a little time, I try to go through them and I try to find as many informations as I can and just uh, study older art artists, uh, modern art artists, everything actually, everything what could inspire me. This is amazing book. Oh yeah, and I got this. This is a new box of colors from Dollar Rooney. Uh, I haven't used this yet, but I can't wait to use this because I've got this um, picture in my mind, abstract picture, and I will be using these for my art. And here I have got more colors, which I use for my pouring. Some Arteza colors and these. And other colors for my pouring. My favorite candle. I love this color. I bought this in local shop and I just love the smell. And ooh, I love this smell. It smells like basil. And I just love, the, love this pattern. I had to buy it. Sorry. And then here, here I've got these little cute containers. So when I've got leftover colors, I just put my leftover colors there and I can store them for how long I want. And these are from Mabelix, I think, I don't remember. Um, loads of different, I, as you can see, you can guess my favorite colors, I think. 
here are also loads of my different um, brushes and some of these brushes are like 20 30 years old i still like to use them i sometimes buy cheap brushes but that's just not not um worth it because the cheap brushes they always last like one one time or two times then i can i can check them away so i rather try to buy good quality brushes which last for a longer time Oh yeah, I forgot to show you my little book. I put all of my ideas in this little book. Do you have such kind of book? I put everything, if, if I've got some idea in my head, I just write it there and then I can come back to it. It's great to have this little book where you can put all of your ideas in. So that's my little art corner. But I've got one more surprise for you. My children, they said, Mommy, you've got your own art corner. We want to have our own car art corner. So we decided we will make them their own art corner. And here you go. That's their little corner. We bought this big table in Ikea. And yeah, it works very well for them. They've got their plasticine here, they've got their tempera colors, their pencils, so they can create their own little art and they love it. They've got a big range of colors and now it's very handy to have such a corner for them because, uh, you know, we've been home for a few weeks and there are more few weeks ahead of us, so they've got plenty of material and supplies to create and I decorated it with this little blue cloud. I used real sheep wool for this and they love it and I also love it because I used my favorite colors for this. Oh it's so soft. So now I think you've seen everything and I hope it was inspirational for you. I hope you enjoyed it. And do you have your own art space? If you do, you can join my Facebook group, which is called Create With Me and you can show me your own beautiful space. And if you like this video, please give a thumbs up or you can also subscribe to my channel and see many more interesting videos. Or would you like me to make a whole home tour video? I don't know if that would be a good idea or not. I don't know if you'll be interested. Please let me know in the comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video and see you soon.